Hello, BookTube. I'm Peg, and welcome to my channel. Well, I have another mystery to talk about today in Vlogmas series, um, and this one has come from one of the prize lists. I'm going to talk about The Lost Girls by Heather Young. This is actually a first novel, and it has won the prize for first mystery novel for the Edgar Awards. Um, the author, Heather Young, um, did work as a San Francisco attorney until she retired, I guess, to have kids and write. Uh, so she, she does still live in California there somewhere. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about the plot. To tell you the truth, though, before, I have to admit, I had to bail, as my friend Sean, the book maniac, would say. I could not finish this book. So I'll, I'll try to explain a little why. Why I'm not going to just, you know, uh, criticize it completely. I, who knows? The author might listen to this, and I know she would hurt her feelings. But it was just not a good book. Okay, it started out with, in 1935. It had different timelines, and one was then, and then there's one. Uh, that takes place in the contemporary world. But the one I was reading most in that, I, I made myself read 50 pages. So I was able to get the first scene that the mystery book always has where it introduces the characters. And this was at a in 1935 at a le uh, lake house around a lake in, in Midwest somewhere where some of the wealthier people of the town go for the summer. They all have built these big, nice houses around the lake. And they all know each other from town and, and politics, etc. So it shows them all getting together the first night of, of summer when they've all moved there. And they go to this lodge that's owned by a half Chippewa family um, and who cooks them dinner that first night. I don't uh, Anyway, and this is where it got so slow and overwritten. I mean, she described everybody, what they wore, what they ate. It was just boring. And uh, people didn't differ. I couldn't differentiate between the characters very much. Um, and I was all really losing, losing patience pretty fast. Now, I do know in this story that one of the daughters of the, of the main family, the young daughter, disappears at some point. But I didn't get that far. Um, but I will say she sets up the characters so they all look, especially the men and boys, look like terrible people, perverts and weird. And I think she probably is doing that so so you won't have any idea who the actual killer or kidnapper or whatever it is is because they all look so bad. But I was feeling real uncomfortable at some of the perverted things some of them seem to do and, and the way she described them looking. And uh, as I said, it just I just didn't want to read anymore. So sorry, I don't have better book to report on today. I'll try to get a better one tomorrow. If anybody's read this and liked it, or at least knows how it ended, I'd love to hear your viewpoint on it. So uh, I'll be back tomorrow with a better book. Bye.